Okay, so I'm going to start on the deep dish one first. Um, <clears throat> just craft macaroni and cheese made per the instructions. Um, I'm going to spray this pan um, pretty well, just with some olive oil, olive oil spray. Okay. So I've got an egg yolk in here, and then I'm going to add a whole egg into this. That cracked weird. Then I'm going to mix it around just a bit. Hope I don't make a mess. Then I'm going to put it in this, mix it around. Then I'm going to add a bit of flour to it. Just, I think it'll help, help it stick about an eighth of a cup. Then after I get this pretty well incorporated, I'll add some uh, Parmesan cheese. Then over here, I'm gonna scoop it onto this parchment paper. with Barbara, my offset spatula, I'm going to make it into a sort of a circle-ish shape. <laughs> is circle-ish English? I don't know. It is now. Okay. <laughs> hmm. It's looking good. No tossing it in the air. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm gonna go in with my hands. Hands are one of the best tools when you're cooking. And then make sort of a crust heap on the side. Then I'm gonna put this in a 425 oven till it's about halfway baked, and we'll see you then. I'm gonna make the cheesy sauce. I'm gonna make a roux, then turn it into bechamel, which is one of the five mother sauces. If you want a video on the f five mother sauces, comment uh, saucy. Then I'm gonna let that melt. So I'm going to make what's called a roux, is where you've got your melted butter and you add flour to it, about the same amount, and I have one stick of butter, so I'll put half a cup of butter in, about. a bit more. Then I'm going to let it cook for about two minutes. Uh, just, well, not really. I'm going to let it cook for probably 30 seconds because it's a pretty hot pan right now, just so there's no floury flavor in it. And 
you don't want it to brown because you just don't. To turn this from a roux to bechamel, I'm going to add some milk. And bechamel is one of the mother sauces, as I stated. There's five of them. And if you want a video about that, comment saucy. Okay, it's a bit too thick for my liking, so I'm going to add a bit more uh, milk to it. Uh, so, it's good for now. Now I'm going to add some mozzarella and provolone. and some parmesan to make it turn it from a bechamel to a cheese sauce that's per request of my cute cousin by the way which cute cousin Michaela So I'm going to let the cheese melt and get incorporated, and we'll see you back when that's done. Okay, I'm going to uh, pull my deep dish pie out. Um, just in case you're wondering, Kenan is, he fought the flour and the flour won on his roux and cheese sauce. All right. So we've... Starting to get a little bit of crunchies around the edge, which is good. So all I'm going to do now is actually the cheese, just like a normal pizza, um, cheese and meats, and uh, can I, can I have some of your mix over there and your uh, parmesan, please? Thank you. So I'm actually going to put sausage and pepperoni and then I'll top with these other two. This is just normal old Italian sausage. We like ours crumbled on our pizzas. I'm leaving the edge like a pizza crust and we'll see if it's even close to what Miss Michaela was excited about last night over dinner. This, this whole project was prompted by a dinner conversation with my brother and his family and their five-year-old Michaela saying that they should invent, somebody should invent macaroni pizza. Um, um, we did not do any searching on macaroni pizza, so maybe it's already a thing. Um, we just wanted to take the challenge and video it and have something fun to do. Um, in case you didn't know, this these are being filmed during the coronavirus lock-in. So Ideas. we are trying to be super creative with our time and spending time together. Well, our dad and our big brother are working from home, locked away in their offices. We're in the kitchen having all the fun. We do feed them. We do share Yeah, we our do food. feed our boys. Okay, I'm going to top this with a little bit of this. Just a little bit more. And... Just because we put quite a lot of Parmesan in the, the crust. Just put a little bit here. Okay, I'm going to put this back in the oven for probably five to ten minutes and we'll see what happens. There's a hot pad here already, buddy. Do you want me to stir while you talk? Yes. Actually, bring it over. Okay, so uh, 
got the bechamel ready. Bechamel cheese situation. Um, so it's cheesy. I'm gonna Do you have a hot to put it on. So, I don't know, buddy. Okay, go ahead. So I'm gonna Sorry. put some egg white just in case there's any holes in this that it'll fill, I guess. With a basting brush. Okay, so I'm gonna ladle some of the bechamel sauce onto it. Spread it out just a bit. Then I'm gonna add some mozzarella and provolone. Sprinkle it there. And some normal mozzarella. A little bit of Parmesan because we've got quite a bit of Parmesan in the bechamel. And Italian sausage. Because my cousin loves smiley faces as far as I know. Uh, I'm gonna make the toppings into a smiley face shape thing. Are, are you framing the face? Yes. Cool. You have to cut your... Oh, I see what you're doing. And I'm going to cut these in half so that I'll actually have room for it. Make a nose there. <laughs> well done! And hair. Actually, ears. ears are falling and I'm gonna coat the top with just a little bit of egg wash egg white wash okay so that's it I'm gonna set it in till the cheese is melty and the egg white on top is cooked and we'll see you then